Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step, book 6, page 34. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. And to our subscribers, thank you for staying with us. Do well to like and, so, and leave a comment. Share with others. Right, so we have this problem. We have two, six, three, four. And here we have three, 21, seven, 18. Here we have 25, 50, two, and 25. So we're going to solve this. So let's begin with this. To find four, So to find 4 here, we're going to have 6 plus 2. That gives us 4. To find, to find 2, we have 6 minus 4. That gives us 2. And to find 3, we have 6 here divided by 2, that gives us 3, right? And to find 6, to find 6, we can either have 2 times 3 equals 6, or we can have 4 plus 2, that gives us 6, okay? So let's try this example. To find this 25 here, this one. So to find 25 here, we can have 50 here minus 25 up. And that gives us 25 on the side. To find 25 up, let's just indicate. So to find 25 up here, we have 50 minus 25. 50 minus 25. And also, that gives us 25. Or you can also have 50 here divided by 2. That gives us 25. So you can do the same thing here. Okay. Or you can have 6 divided by 3. You have your 2. So to find. This 2. We have 50. Divided by 25. That gives us 2. To find 50, we can have 25 times 2. That gives us 50. Or we have to get 50 the other way around. You have this plus this. Okay, so that's 25 plus 25. That gives us 50, right? So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and mathematics problems. Bye for now.